Hi, Mikel. Hi. Sorry for potentially repeating one of those questions, no but problem. just on Gabriel Jesus, a goal, an assist, and what a performance. I mean, what can you say about that? Really happy with that part. Uh, big games for big players, and, and he needed to produce those moments um, to win in a stadium like this. He's done it, and, and he has obviously opened the game for us in, in a great way. And then really sad because he felt something in his hamstring, and he had to come off, and, um, and I worried about that. What, would you, what was better, the goal or the assist? Both. I want to see the slow motion of the first turn because it was so sharp and then the final ball that he played to Gabi as well. So really happy. He needed that. That was um, Gabriel's fourth goal this season and third in the Champions League. Firstly, how good is he? And do you think performances like that show that talk of maybe a strike in January might be a bit premature? Well, he came here for a reason. I think he changed our world. I think he brought so much belief and energy to the team. And, uh, and he needs to step in in those moments, and that's why he plays. And he's done that. And, um, and that's when a player becomes accountable for the team, and the team relies on those players to, to win games. And um, we need players like this. If you want to play, go to Manchester City, then come to Stamford Bridge, the next one come here. That's the level that we are right now. And to come here and to win, be great to the boys. G Gabby has got an incredible record in the Champions League in particular. I mean, I think he scored about 15 goals for City before he came here. Was that one of the reasons you signed him, to bring that sort of level of expertise and, and experience to, to this young team? For sure. He has, he's been through a lot in the last few years and is still really young, but he has enormous um, experiences and some of them not the nicest, but very necessary to be the player that he is today. And I'm really happy to have him in the team. Hi, Mikel. Could you just put this result into a bit of context for us? Because you'd lost here tonight. You'd have been on the back foot in the group. Uh, but a really important win. You're top of the group now. You've got two home games to come. It, it feels like a, a real pivotal night, potentially, for you. Yes, but that's the Champions League. That's the group of stages. And, and that shows you the difficulty of winning and how much you have to value that. And against Len, obviously, that result put us in, in a difficult position. And the team had to react. And and we are coming from a bag of very, very difficult games when the team <laughs> constantly has to step in and and uh, and go against adversity as well and injuries that we picked as well with, with some big players and, and the team is so willing and so determined to at least try their best to, to try to manage to, to be our best all the time. Yeah, um, just a slight change of tack, but I know that Everton was a club that you loved being a part of and I just wondered if you'd like to pay tribute to Bill yeah, I got it with the news. I had a really personal and a strong relationship with Bill. Um, I cannot be more grateful for the way he treated me, um, the advice that he always gave me and how close he was with me and his family. And uh, <laughs> he's been through a lot in the last few years and I've been very aware of that. And um, it's a big loss, I think, for, for Everton and, and personally for me as well. Okay, well thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.